In this video, I'm going to be covering the batch process tool. Uh, we use this tool to turn off levels across multiple sheet models. Uh, in this example, I'm going to be turning off the revised sheet text here. So the sheet text revised level. In order to get to the batch processing tool, you go to the file, tools, and then batch process. So this is going to run a script file, which is just a simple text file that is going to be running in key ends for each model. So we're going to go ahead and select our command file here. And these are going to be located in our IOD LT standards connect, documentation, docs, and then batch files. So here we have our sheet text revised level off. Then I'm going to add files to the process. I'm just going to add this one to it. Click OK. So we can do multiple files in a batch process. We can choose which model we want to do. If we just want to do one model or if we want to do all models. Once we have this done, we are going to go ahead and select the process batch job. It's going to bring up messages of telling us when we're starting and so you can give us some statistics on our process. Uh, you can see here now that we have the which model and it's pending so we're going to start processing and this is going to take a little bit of time for each sheet. So we're going to open up each model and then it's going to run the key ins that are in this batch processing file. While this is running, I'm going to go ahead and we can go over this batch process file. And what it's doing. So what it's going to do is come in here and it's going to set the active level to default. So that way we're not, so that way we can turn off any of the other levels. It's not the active level. Because if the level you're trying to turn off is active, it will not turn it off. We're going to set our ref level overrides on will enable it to run. Then we are going to level set display off and the file is going to be in that border.dgn and then this is the level name in the quotation. It's going to select view 1 and that will complete this part of it and then it's going to reset and then it's going to go on to the next model. If you want to edit this we can do multiple levels. Uh, if you want to do it in just the main file you take out this file portion and it'll just be level set display off for that. We can also do level display, display on if we want to turn levels on as well. So if you want to export that out and modify this yourself for any of your own custom scripts you can. So let's go back here and check in on our processing here. Wait for the program to catch up here. It looks like everything has been processed. And once it has completed and everything's caught up, it'll change to done here. You can just click done. And you'll have this message window, and you can see it's processed nine models. They call them files. And it's taken two minutes and 42 seconds for those nine models to be processed. 
close out of this. And now if we go down here, you can see in our sheet models that that revised sheet text is now off on all of our border models. So that is how we use the batch process tool.